Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm here to walk you through the process of setting up Siphon for proxy and HTTP header settings. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful content like this. In today's video, we'll cover everything from downloading and installing Siphon to configuring it for effective use with proxies and custom headers. Let's get started. Step 1. To get started, the first thing you'll need to do is download and install Siphon. This app is available on your mobile app store or directly from the Siphon website. Installing the app is straightforward. Open Plate Store and type Siphon Pro in search bar and then press Enter. In the search results, tap on Siphon VPN and download it. It will take few minutes to download. Once done, you'll be ready to move on to the next step. Step 2. Once you've got Siphon installed, go ahead and launch the app. You'll find yourself on the app's home screen, which is quite user-friendly. This screen gives you access to the main features and settings of Siphon. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the layout and options available here. Step 3. Now, look for the options label on the screen and give it a tap to explore the app settings. In this section, you'll find various settings that allow you to customize Siphon according to your needs. This includes selecting network settings, setting up proxy configurations, and enabling features like custom headers. Take your time to go through these options, as each one will affect how Siphon operates. Step 4. Within the settings, locate and click on proxy settings to configure your proxy settings. Here, you'll be able to enter the necessary details for your proxy server, such as the proxy address and port number. If your proxy requires authentication, make sure to enter your username and password in the respective fields. Once configured, this will allow Siphon to route your internet traffic through the proxy for secure and private browsing. Step 5. In the Proxy Settings section, check the HTTP proxy box to enable proxy settings. This will direct your web traffic through the proxy server, ensuring that your browsing is masked and protected. If you prefer to use your system's network proxy, simply click the button next to it. Otherwise, if you need custom settings, enter a valid proxy and port, like 80, that meets your specific requirements. Step 6. If you wish to use custom headers, you can do so with custom proxy settings or your system's network settings. To configure custom HTTP headers, click on the Custom HTTP Headers option. Use the settings provided and make sure to input a valid custom host in the header value section. This is useful if you need to modify how your data is sent and received. For example, when bypassing restrictions or using specific server configurations. Step 7. Now go back to the main screen and tap on the Start button to establish your VPN connection. This step is crucial if you want to encrypt your internet traffic and hide your browsing activities. Once connected, your internet connection will be protected and you can browse more securely. This concludes the setup process for Siphon with proxies and custom HTTP headers. Conclusion. And there you have it. You've successfully set up Siphon for proxy and HTTP headers. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more informative content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.